Hey, uh, my name is Brian Hegney, instructor of communication at High Point University in High Point, North Carolina. Um, today we are going to be, we are continuing on our UMG UIPP tutorials. Um, and what we're going to do first, or next, sorry, we've already done first, this is video three. Um, if, unless I've edited something weird and then I just said it's video three, but then I made it like video four because I thought we might include something before that. I don't know. Um, this was video three at some time. Maybe it still is. Who knows? I'm going to go into our first person map. Um, let's see. We made a start widget. No, we made a start level. We signed a widget to it. Before we make a heads-up display, I want to go in and bring in a few things. So, like, in Photoshop, I went and I made just this really ugly key. Whoops. Like, it's just a really stupid key in Photoshop. It's not even a key. It's like a yellow blob um, that looks kind of like a key. In any case, I'm going to actually use this time to talk to you about textures and materials. Now, textures is... Um, this is not my work, by the way. It's somebody else's. I love it. I love this carrot. Um, textures are the images. So I made a 256 pixel by 512 pixel image of a key. And I'm going to import it as a texture. It's an image file. This one's um, it's a PNG. And there it is, key.png with an alpha channel. And I open it up, and it looks really weird. It looks really weird, like it's stretched. But if you double-click it, you can see it is a, um, a key with an alpha channel. That's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a material out of that. And in Unreal Engine, I like to show my students like some of the quick and easy ways of doing this. And if you right-click any texture, um, this is just a, one single image of a key, I can create a material with it at the top. I'm going to create a material. Key mat is fine. And um, now, before I do anything with it, I'm going to put it where it needs to be, which is way over in material. So if you left click and drag it from this area in your content browser, by the way, follow along with me, students, right? So go download, um, uh, I don't know, go to like Google, right? And go and get key and type in PNG because then it'll give you key PNGs. You know, get anything you want. Um, look for something that has um, transparency, which sometimes people upload photos of the Photoshop background, which is that gray and white checkerboard, and you think you're downloading a PNG that has alpha channel, but it's not. It's 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 like they embedded that gray, gray checkerboard. Anyways, so do that. Pause this. Catch up. Okay. And now I'm paused. Good. So now left click and drag this into your materials. And when you do that, Unreal's going to say copy or move, and you're going to move it because you're not just going to copy it there. Now my textures are in textures, and my materials are in materials. And if you double click that key mat, key material, you'll find it's really just made up of two things. Um, this this starter thing that always comes with the material and then the texture is connected to the base color which some software calls it diffuse channel um, this is the base oops you're not seeing this sorry about that and so there it is but you know what I don't really like seeing it like this I like seeing it in a cube and zoom out so we can kind of see what's going on now this obviously isn't gonna work for us so I'm just gonna show you something um, this works for me when I need to do this. My, s oh, click on this here, the root node, the result node, sorry. And on blend mode, we're going to call this masked, I think. I think that's going to work. And we're going to drag from here the texture we're gonna drag from we can drag from the blue one that's your alpha channel um, that's where the transparency is the information is and we're gonna drag that into the opacity mask and we're gonna let go and oh oh that's really weird is it the other one yeah, it is the other one. I'm sorry. I might have done a fake alpha. 
Okay. So here we have the white node um, down into here, and that's cool. And so that gives us, um, if we put it on a plane, oh, where'd you go? You should be visible. I don't know where you are. There you are. There's the plane. Um, so that's what our key is going to look like, and, and that's fine. By the way, when you click on these, the little box, the, the sphere, or the cylinder, it doesn't change the material at all. It's just depending on what kind of material you're using, um, it's just going to help you view it a little bit better. The teapot is for if you have a, an object that you want to see it on, like I have a little jack-in-a-box. If I select that in my scene or in my browser, oops, I need to select it in the browser, sorry. So I have to right click my Jacko box, browse to asset. There it is, it's selected in my browser. Now I can click my little, you see it's right there? Now I can click my little thingamajig and I can actually see if I apply this material to it, does it do anything? Um, it does, like that's really dumb, you would never do that. You see I have something in there, that's an animated little Jack in the box that I made. <sighs> okay. I just wanted you to know what that was, that's all. So let's, we saved it already, I can put it away. Oh, this is really annoying, this has not been showing High Point University at all. There we go. There. <clears throat> all right. Um, Oh no, materials. So, okay, so that's it. So what I want to do is I want to make a little platform. And I already have a platform, but I'll make one from scratch anyway. No big deal. I am going to bring a box, a cube. How about a cube under basic? And I am going to make that cube about five times the width, five times the other width, and point one, two, five in Z to make a nice flat... Um, and I just ta I just brought this up, by the way, and tapped the end key so it drops it down. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is drag a plane out over here. I'm going to move it up, and I'm going to zoom in here just so we can see what's going on. And I am going to want to rotate this plane, so I'm going to tap E for E-Rotate and tap W for movement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this material of the key onto this plane and let go. And you see now that's a nice key right here. And if I want to, I could probably scale this down to about 0.5 in the width. Or I mean in the R value, or X value there. And now it looks kind of like a key. And if I were to play this, there's my key. Yeah, oops. And yeah, thank you. And um, what I might do is... <coughs> oh, you know what? That's fine. I'll keep it the way it is. Um, I could turn this into a blueprint. I'm not really going to, though. I'm just going to do something really quick and dirty. I'm going to drag a box trigger. And I'm going to set it right here. <clears throat> and I am going to scale that box trigger. Or change the shape of it so it's just taller. Tap. Oops. Uh-oh. There it goes. Tap end. <clears throat> No, I can't do it? Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to click into um, four screen mode. <clears throat> so I can just be sure that... Where'd you go? This is... Um, this is a trigger that's going to see when I get close to the key. And when I enter this, it's going to collect the key for me. That's all. Um, so that's all it's doing. <clears throat> and how much time am I at? 
nine minutes, ten minutes, okay. <clears throat> so I have that. I have the material, I have the texture, that's pretty good. Um, as long as you get a key, um, get a texture in of a key or something like a key, make a material out of it, really simple uh, material um, that I created with an alpha channel, create a platform somewhere, put that key in there on a plane, uh, or the material of the key on a plane, uh, rotate it so that it shows it shows the player to the player and then um, put a trigger button and then we will set up a little heads up display for um, our, our character to collect the key all right uh, and we'll do that next so thank you bye bye